afternoon walk. We are very much taking it easy today. I'm getting some homework done. Did some cleaning this morning. She is starting to eat more, do different things. We tested out sausage today. That went good. She had some ramen. I just let it cool off. That went good. Um, I don't want to get too adventurous. We'll do nuggets maybe tomorrow. Slow it up, slow it up. But right now, it's all about walking the dog. It's still hot out. Don't let this hoodie fool you, okay? I'm still, I'm very much hot. But my hair is not done, so I got the hoodie on. <laughs> um, yeah, vacuumed the house this morning, tidied up, and washed the dishes, made breakfast. My man, you just trying to lay in the dirt? And I got this fool until tomorrow. Let me step out first, Nala, all right? Let me step out first. I got it. We're gonna wait for these people to finish going by. Stop right here. Someone is not necessarily paying attention. Okay. Thank you. I'll make sure we get we get across the street here. She loves it over here, this one. She loves rolling around in this grass. Come on, you can come over here. You can let him go. You can let him go. You're good. freedom until they give me a reason not to. Um, okay. They're right here, okay? Mm-hmm. It feels soft. I'm not gonna lie, it feels soft. Yeah, it feels nice. <laughs> go, 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 eat the she grass! She loves this grass. Yeah, it's grass here. I'm gonna run away. You get a difference in her voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -oh. I mean, we knew it wasn't going to last. Yeah. Come here, Bella! Uh oh. <laughs> Grocery shopping's not happening today. I just really need. This month, I need to get this car together, man. I really do. Come. Come here. Good boy. Come. 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 Bella. I know you know better. Come. Good. All right. Okay. Good girl. Yeah. Come. Come on. Bella. Good boy, Shango. into my calf. <laughs> Why are you like this? Hey, hey, hey. Shh. Why are you like... Girl. Isabella. Did you see me? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. 
I saw you. Yeah, take a breather, girl. You literally at his behind. I'm gonna run and jump. Oh, what? Run and jump. No, you're not. I wanted to ask you guys, like, what works for you when you're planning your grocery um, run? There have been a couple of times where I have planned out meals and, you know, framed my groceries around that, and that has worked out pretty good. But you know how it gets, like people bring home takeout or they change their minds about what they wanna eat or you get a taste for something else. So it doesn't always, you know, it doesn't always stay that way. So what I was thinking of doing was um, setting aside some money for my protein shakes. I really wanna get back on that, y'all. Like I was ordering from Amazon delivery, like two cases of the protein shakes. <clears throat> during my recovery from gastric bypass and that bad boy that worked out really good for me um because i want i want to get down to that one x before my birthday and i only got like a month and a half to do that so i'm thinking of getting like three cases one of each flavor and just doing two a day and then we're getting alkaline water or Solomon's paying for that, which is great because that'd be like almost $25 a case, man. Um, I want to get, hmm, we're also going to get the Butcher Box subscription. So that takes, you know, something off of my grocery budget that I don't have to worry about, which is good. So I think we can really stretch it. I think I have room to get my protein shakes and, and really kind of stretch the budget with like going forward i've noticed that nala has lost quite a bit of you know a nice little amount of weight from from this like semi fasting that she's been doing so i kind of want to not i'm not gonna force her to fast but i am going to like restrict her portions and um and her snacking so i wanted to maybe check out thrive market for some healthy alternatives to the snacks that she likes to eat um, let me know if you guys have tried it, uh, what you think of it. I've been watching reviews, um, but you know, the difficulty is get, figuring out what your children like to eat. <laughs> so, um, I know she likes potato chips, so I was thinking about cassava chips. Is there really a big difference in the health benefits and, you know, trying to help her get more protein so that she's not hungry as quickly? Um, I definitely, after she's fully healed, want to get her into an activity after school. Um, well, after she's healed and once my car is running, I'd like to get her into an after school activity because it, it, it seems that they're not going to have that much homework this year, which I love because then that means she could do an activity. I, I'm, le I'm, you know, she is looking at gymnastics and parkour. Um, and I am trying to encourage her to get back into Taekwondo, mainly for like the discipline aspect of it and the focus, but, and, and taking direction. <laughs> uh, I felt like she was doing a lot better with that. I, I, I want to test that out and see if she can, you know, see that through. I did tell Solomon that if we do that, I'd like to pay for the entire year up front um, because I don't want us to have to worry about like making the monthly payment. Oh, let me see. There's some other stuff I wanted to talk to y'all about. Mm. I'm in the sixth week of class. My God, is this class going by quickly to me? And I am just like teetering between a B minus and a C. It just has not been going well for me. Um, and I did look at my notes this time around because like, you know, I had to go on vacation and I was like rushing to get my homework done. So I, I've screwed up my homework and I got a, a pretty like crappy grade on that assignment. Um, and that kind of like, you know, it, and then passing my work in like a day late was getting, taking 10 points off of my grade. And so I was like, God, I really got to get it together. So I did this week, I finally got it together. Um, so I haven't seen that grade yet, but I'm pretty sure it will reflect that I have gotten it together. And now I'm um, 
uh, since this week I don't have a writing assignment, I'm trying to get ahead of things. Like today is the day, oops, I'm dripping here. Today is the day that I'm working towards getting ahead of my assignments. Where are my paper towels? So now, oh, I went to the Usher concert movie thing. It's not that the show wasn't good. It was just underwhelming compared to what I've already seen. <laughs> He's a great performer. He puts on an excellent show. I think it could also be the director of the uh, of the movie because it just wasn't as like I don't know I could have watched that shit on HBO you know what I mean like that's what it felt like it didn't really feel like a movie experience but I love Usher and it's better than paying that 400 something dollars that it was gonna cost to see him <laughs> At the, at the arena okay so <laughs> so it's fine 18 dollars okay to see him at the movies so yeah and uh we had some snacks and it was cool it was cool um i felt like this could have been something that was um a way of showing me appreciation for you know, the round the clock care that I'm giving to our baby girl while he is at work. Uh, it didn't end up being that. It ended up being a battle and um, just another reminder of the trajectory of this uh, current situation. And that is fine. I pretty much just let it go um, and just moved forward. <laughs> And then I, I gotta tell you, the universe, she's funny. I get a job, um, a job like listing for um, an assistant in a divorce court. I'm sorry, in a, a law firm for divorce. I say, oh, well, would you look at that? Aren't you funny? Ha ha ha. I applied. It's only five minutes from the house. It was five minutes from the house. It's $25 an hour. I can make $500 a week for 20 hours a week. And it's easy work. <laughs> In my opinion. I said, come on now. And it's hybrid. I said, this is my job. That's what I need right now. Plus I can get all that legal advice that I need. Take care of business. So yes, I applied. I have no plans for being a lawyer. Although that was my initial, what do you want to be when you grow up thing. But um, yeah, I don't plan on doing that. That's too much, too much reading and homework and junk for the rest of your life. I don't like it. But I will file things for you. I will run your errands. I will, um, you know, mediate <laughs> and I will take in whatever I need to take in all right I've been drinking this because with the seasons changing and the weather changing very quickly I am liable to catch something <laughs> I just know that about me and so I'm picking up another one of these tomorrow when I do my grocery run uncle Matt's organic ultimate defense <laughs> orange pineapple ginger this is this is yummy you can very much taste the turmeric and the ginger and <laughs> i don't know about the pineapple but um i have in my stanley right now with a little ice and it's cool just want to make you guys aware if you happen to see it in your local grocery store i found mine at whole food Stop the shop too. When are we going? Tomorrow. What day? In the morning. When in the morning? Whenever BB gets here. Yeah, I need to know when to wake up. I'll tell you when to wake up. 
You're just staring at me for the longest time. You eating lunch? He takes a bite, he looks back at me. I'll be taking him out in the evening for his last walk. I need a nap. I don't know what it is. I definitely take my focus uh, vitamins, I take my iron. I don't know what else it is, guys. I'm tired. It might be the broken sleep. That's the only thing I can think of, because I feel like I slept pretty decently. But I did have to get up in the middle of the night to give her medicine, and then again to walk the dog. Um, then I tried to go back to sleep, woke up nine-ish after that, and I felt like, okay, yeah, that's, that's cool. But now all of a sudden it's like, Going on three, and I need a nap. What is that about? Ooh, all right. I'm prepping dinner. I saw this creator. She did a hamburger. No, she did a chopped cheese ring with crescent rolls baby that's what we're eating tonight has solomon picking up the crescent rolls uh bell pepper and some shredded cheese now she used a uh, pepper jack obviously you're just using what you have to make this right you don't have to do exact um so she used pepper jack and um i think shark cheddar and i'm just getting shark cheddar i would have gotten mozzarella but i don't know i, I might have him pick up mozzarella too I like to cut up my onion a little bit thinner because I want it to cook down a little bit more. I'm gonna have to start thinking about ways to like boost my anti-inflammatory uh, diet or like get back on it because I think about like my, my ailments and how if I was adhering to my anti-inflammatory diet, I probably wouldn't be feeling like this. Um, it's not as easy because I have to think about feeding Nala as well. And she doesn't necessarily like those things, but I also thought about it as maybe she needs them too. I haven't been able to get her blood work done just yet, even though that might be something we, we stop and do before we leave. Yeah, I'm gonna do that on Monday. Cause she has um, a blood work request, I think already in. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, go on Monday, see if I can get that done for her because I need to find out if she has the same condition I do, which is hypothyroidism. I didn't find out until I was in my late 20s that I had it, but I had it the whole time. And so I wanna make sure that I'm doing right by her, even if that means being the bad, bad guy for a little while while she gets used to a new diet. You know, I just wanna do better for her than what was done for me. White onion and tomato. That's it for now. Peppers aren't coming yet, but I've got my seasonings out and everything else is prepped. So I'll see y'all later. I gotta. This is this is all I can really do for now. So I'll see you guys. Oh no no no! I'll see you in the kitchen. We gonna make the burger sauce. Let's go. So the base is mayo, and I'm just gonna eyeball this. gonna be a dip so I'm gonna use a healthy amount and then ketchup oh hell mustard wow the juicy's coming out
going to do relish. I need something to stir it with anyway. So we're going to grab a spoon. Spoon coming out a clean spoon. I'm going to just do a nice heaping teaspoon. I'm going to do a little bit of the juice of this because I'm going to put this in the meat. So I'm just going to do a little sprinkle of that juice. A couple shots of red hot. Use whatever hot sauce you want, friends. I like mine a little spicy. And then Worcestershire sauce. Ooh, that's, that's plenty. That's, that's plenty. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little um, garlic salt. And then we're going to taste this for seasoning. Not quite pink enough. I think it needs a little bit more ketchup. Just a skosh. And that'll let me know it's ready. But I'm going to taste it for seasoning for the rest of the ingredients. So let's see how it's doing. It smells good. Let's see. That tastes kind of boring. <laughs> it doesn't taste like I put all them things in it. It just tastes kind of bland. Hold up. Hold up. Does it just need salt? Hold up. We're going to do a pinch of salt. That's my pinch. Mind your business. We're going to do a little more hot sauce because I ain't getting too much flavor of that either. And then a little more ketchup. All right, what are we looking for? That color is better. Okay, let's check again. That is it. That's it right there. That's cute. I'm gonna chop up some of these and we'll be back. I'm sorry, I'm gonna chop up a few of these and then I will see you guys back when Solomon gets home so I can finish prepping and cooking. Fam, Solo came home so I can finish prepping and getting ready to cook. So I'm going to go in with my pepper. Finally getting around to watching Maxwell on Tiny Desk. 
Me, my tiny desk. I watched this already, but it's just kind of on autoplay. Do y'all watch Tiny Desk? Cause they did like Black Music Month and man, it was good. They have Ryan Leslie, um, SWV, who else was on there, man? There were so many great artists that they brought on. Like people, it, sometimes these Tiny Desk do like career reviving things, you know? Not blind, she's not blind. always a great little key a little throwback oh drop the pepper i think i'm gonna stop right there i feel like that's enough pepper and this is what we have for the saute this is the cheddar that we're using for the rest of the meal and now i'm gonna put y'all up so we can look at um seasoning and things seems to be some insecurities This love we're making There's gonna be some rain I'm gonna ease the pain But as far as I know What time will show Our love will grow And I know the love will be Okay, so I'm hot <laughs> But that's alright, we're gonna move We're gonna keep it moving We're almost ready for the beef Get Crescent rolls. 375, they're saying. Let's do that. I'm gonna follow the instructions. But yeah, we'll get to this in just a sec. Once everything is all done and drained and yada, blah, blah. What I really like about this pan, y'all, is it has two of those like spout things so that you can drain the oil. me up why don't you kick my butt I'm gonna to pop all over my hand I knew better I don't know why I did that I knew better so I better get it crushed so I guess that's what I'll do on about medium heat y'all because I want seconds or like food for tomorrow I'm gonna do two pounds Smoke paprika. About two teaspoons, something like that. Aglio Olio seasoning. This is basically like garlicky, spicy herb seasoning. Have some black garlic. This has adds a depth of flavor. Like a deep garlic flavor, honey. Got some garlic salt because I'm not using like real garlic, so I feel like I need to put the garlic where I can. I'm gonna do black pepper just because I love fresh black pepper. Delicious. Red pepper flake because why not? The capsaicin from spicy food is healing. And we're going to do a few little shaka 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 of the salt. Like regular salt. Sea salt, not regular salt. So that's what the girls are giving right now. After it gets a little more cooked, I'm going to add the Worcestershire sauce. Why can't y'all really out here having trouble saying Worcestershire or is that just a running joke? Or maybe because we have a town called Worcester, it's just easy for me to say. <laughs> Here in Massachusetts. 
Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. That's how, I mean, we say it either one of those two ways. But I be hearing people like fighting for their life <laughs> to say Worcestershire. And it's funny. <laughs> Everybody. I know the Mr. Make It Happens calls it worst word in the world sauce. Um, I forget who calls it W sauce. Um, and then, what else do they call it? I'm trying to remember everybody who says something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this heat up to high. I'm starting to get a little, a little water. Okay. Why not? What's stopping you? What's stopping you from eating it? This is gonna be good. You had sausage this morning. Alright, I'm gonna pour some of this liquid out so that I can get a crust on this. Okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Hi, man. We're almost completely, we're like half and half on the browning of it all. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and add the veg. Now, I, I watched my, my sister who made this. She's so good. She's so nice. She's so pretty. She cooked it all separately. I have let my late grandmama and my ancestors before her guide me with seasoning for my entire, all of my days. And it has never steered me wrong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and rock with it. I've already put salt in here, so I'm not gonna season the veg. It should be just fine. There's lots of beautiful seasoning in here to, to get that all together. Soldiers rain down on me. Let your love just fall like raindrops rain on me. Just rain down on me. Let your love just shower me. Boy, rain on me. all eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it away from the heat so it doesn't affect like the cooking of the croissant. Unravel it and just lay it out the way that she did it on the video to make it like a wheel to prep to make a little wheel. So I've made this pinwheel by slightly overlapping the crescent rolls. You don't roll them into a crescent right you just leave them in the triangle shape. And I use this um, this little like prep bowl as my template to, to make the little circle part. So after I put the mixture on there, I'm just gonna make it look like a bunt pan. I mean a bunt cake. Right. You'll see then a cooking, a cooking, a cooking, and now it's turning nice and brown. I feel like the onions need, I mean, sorry, not the onions, the peppers need a little more time. And I'm trying to evaporate the rest of this liquid. But as soon as we're there, we're gonna add the cheese. We're gonna add the cheese now. I am going to add about half the cheese. Okay. It's most of the bag, but just that I saved enough so that I can, you know. I'm going to mix this in. I want this to be nice and ooey gooey. I did drain uh, the oil. And so now we're just going to mix this to bind everything together and then we're going to pour it on the croissant star. All right, I'm going to get rid of the wooden spoon because it doesn't scoop up enough. <laughs> I'm going to use a slotted spoon to disperse the meat around the ring. All right, I'm going to just do a little bit more beside this some more. Eleven. Close up the ring. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? I'm gonna pull the bowl out. There we go. And 
your um, your croissant's gonna puff a little bit, so you don't have to worry about it like coming apart or anything. I'm gonna show y'all what this looks like up close. So this beautiful baby is what you're gonna have on the way in. And I'm gonna top this with a little more cheese. It's smelling real good, Buki. Let's go on over here and have a looky loo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. It's got one minute to go. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out because it looks amazing. Oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> this looks really good. Really, 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 really good. Oh, man. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm saying to myself, I probably should have um, just added all the cheese. Yeah, I should have just added all the cheese. I mean, I'm squeezing it here, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna put the burger sauce I made earlier. Right there. <laughs> just for presentation, honey. I'm gonna keep this little container. <laughs> For when I pack it back up. <laughs> but yeah, let's have a looky loo because we're gonna take a picture. This is cut you. Honey, would you look at this? I am a chef. Oh, this looks so good. I am so proud of myself. Yes. Let's cut this up and get some. Get a bite, honey. All right. Oh, you mm -hmm. Can I pick this up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I can pick this up. Mommy, I'm gonna buy it. It's not fair. I'm gonna buy it. It's not fair. Wait, wait, wait. No, just eat it now. Come on, eat it off my hands. So I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want the dogs to get here. Oh, it was good? I'll save it for you. It's still hot. I just took it off the oven. Let's see if I can pick this up. I can pick this up. Hey, she's a Baby, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Y'all better try this. Y'all better not. Y'all better try this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. I will be making this tomorrow and Sunday as well. <laughs> this is so good. Baby, this is so good. Baby, you gotta make this. It's like it really is a chopped cheese with a croissant roll, like a croissant for the bread. It's bad. It's bad. Bomb 10 out of 10. <laughs> so good, so good. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Which, which, yeah. You know what? Mm. Mm. Excuse me. And this is a girl who says she doesn't like cheese. But it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try the burger sauce? You're not going to dip it in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hey, y'all. It's the Trader Joe's haul. And what you see is not all there is, I promise you. I spent, gosh, if I count the pumpkins that we got to decorate outside, I spent almost 600 bucks, y'all. Um, but it's the monthly shopping, so I mean you can you can divide that how you want. Um we got 32 alkaline waters. I'm gonna just show you one. They are a dollar nineteen. Well, 
probably down to 29 at this point because of inflation. But they look like this. And it has electrolytes. Alkaline Water Plus electrolytes. So good. Um, tastes amazing cold. I mean, you want to talk about smooth, crisp water and electrolytes. So added hydration. These are awesome. This size is the one that fits perfectly in your cup holder. They do have one that's almost twice as big and, th and that one is still under $2. I'm not going to itemize everything, but I am going to show you some standouts from this particular shopping trip. Starting with these. Now listen, these, these passion fruit rounds are delicious. If you like dried fruit, they're in the dried fruit section. I grabbed 13 bags because I love these and they are so hard to come by friends so if you see them in your Trader Joe's try to get just because you're gonna need to you're gonna mm, mm, these are real good mm, mm, these are real good your way right through the first bag and then you're gonna say I wish I had another one <laughs> and then you'll you'll have another one so just trust me on this if you like dried fruit if you already like passion fruit it is a more concentrated flavor because it's dried. They're scrumptious and they still have that little, you know what I'm saying? That little tang. These are fantastic. I got some fresh ginger because again, for the same reason that I got the immune boost last time, we didn't go to any other store except Trader Joe's today. So I didn't get it today, but I figured, hey, I got some turmeric. Okay, I got some ginger and my husband always gets orange juice. So I will make my own immune boost <laughs> just like that. You got more broccoli. Always. Now, I had every intention of getting chicken on this trip, but it didn't happen, and that's okay because we're going to be resubscribing to Butcher Box. So I'll get it at that point because the grilled chicken that's pre cooked and seasoned is $8 a pack. And and no, it's $8 a pound, so they want $10 for the it was three little puny chicken breasts. And I was like, I'm mad. And Monday we're gonna go, and we're going shopping again anyways. The reason I brought the whole grilled chicken thing up is I got some salad. I got some baby spinach and some arugula to make a salad. I already had croutons at the crib, so. Um, got some feta cheese. We got some guacamole. I got two different tacos. types. I got two types of guac. Um, and also I love to overdo it with the cream oh, cheese on my bagel. Two packs, two packs of the cream cheese. Um, I did grab some heirloom tomatoes because uh, I'm going to do tomato mozzarella salad. Uh, we got a mozzarella log here. So we got, yeah, we got a few different soup dumplings. If you've ever been to Trader Joe's, you ever had the soup dumplings? They have chicken, they have vegetable, and they have pork with well, ginger. Can I, can I have some? Yeah, I got the chicken for you. So um, chicken for Nala. You've had them before, so I know you like them. So I got another pack of shrimp scampi. I don't remember if I liked it or not. I'm pretty sure I did. So um, I got some linguine noodles to go with it. And then because it's in season, I grabbed some figs. I'm going to just, you know, incorporate some freshness in my life. You know what I mean? It's not all about the snacks, friends. And to that end, I also got some Greek yogurt with honey. Um... I'm, I'm trying to like ease myself back into focusing on protein, but I like other things. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I like other stuff. So um, it's in the spirit of trying things that are fall specific, you got butternut squash mac and cheese. I heard this is bussing. So I said, let me go ahead and give it a shot. We'll see, we'll see what's going on. Two bulgogis, I always enjoy this. With a little rice, you know, a little veg just it's 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 um instant dinner okay here are the gross griddle cakes you can make a sickening breakfast sandwich with these friends forget mcdonald's you're you got mcgriddles at home you can also just eat them like pancakes that's also fine i love oatmeal um but today's oatmeal is going to be pecan pumpkin because fall i said oh that sounds delectable Let's get two, just to be safe. I had to, and they were hiding these. They were underneath root beer popsicles, bitch. Give me my fruit bars. <laughs> Shut your ass up. These are the jam. These are so delicious. If you ever see these at Trader Joe's, why am I holding them upside down? If you ever, what's going on now? 
Oh, okay, got you. If you ever see these at Trader Joe's, bless yourself. You get four in the pack. They're huge and they're insanely delicious. Now, it is criminal how expensive this is compared to what you get in here, but this, this is so good. It does not need doctoring up the way that you would think. I just put a little salt, just a little, little I gotta do it, you know what I mean? But you don't need to. Traditional dinner, uh, roast with mash and veg. This is incredible. Now, because they're so small when they finish cooking, I got two. Um, cashew butter covered cashews because I was certain that I got almonds before I found these. I hope I'm right. <laughs> Cause you know, sometimes you wanna do a little shark coochie board and you want some nuts and some grapes and blah, blah, blah. So I try to get something a little extra, a little extra fancy, a little extra bougie. And again, fall flavors. We've got the maple pancake snaps. So these are like ginger snaps, but they're maple with um, their pancake inspired butter cookies with maple syrup, molasses, and cinnamon, baby. Ah, oh, smells so good. Got my bagels. Everything bagels. They do not cut these. I wish they would. Just throwing it out there. For myself, I picked up the apple bars. These are super delicious. And then, oh God. So I had, I had these crazy delicious chocolate covered graham cracker with honey. One time I was like, oh my gosh, these are so busting. This is the closest thing I can find now to that. These are so delicious. <sighs> Can't help myself. Okay, so for avocado toast, this is my favorite bread. It's nice and wide, it's dense. You know, it really holds up to the fried egg and the avocado. So we've got the sliced cracked wheat sourdough bread. Uh, Tuscan, Tuscan bread is also great. Whatever. A bit of stuff and things in here. My miso paste in case I run out of broth. Chili onion crunch, gotta keep that on deck. No stir peanut butter. This one is not open, my other one is. So we're gonna set that off to the side. And then this girl right here, remember we made that, that chicken? Okay, so we gotta keep that sauce on deck. And then I have white beans because I plan to make um, some kind of soup. I like to have white beans, they're really good. And I got some honey. This particular honey is grade A, multi-floral and clover honey. And vindaloo that I ate this week. <laughs> I felt bad, so I replaced his lamb vindaloo. This is incredible. Really good frozen meal. These are the pork and ginger dumplings, uh, soup dumplings for me. And then vegetable dumplings, just to try them. I've never had them. They only had one dag on samos, chicken samosas. They only had one of these. They had the pumpkin ones, which I don't like. <laughs> Every year they put them out. I don't like them. So they had the pumpkin, they had the veggie, which I'm just like meh about. Um, but these are my jam. Now it's three cheese pizza. This is probably gonna be lunch. So I'm gonna leave that out. And then I found these. Baby, these are so good. And when you see them, you just have to get them. You know, like, because Trader Joe's will play you in your face. Next time you come, it's not there. So I got four. Six, six in a pack. No, four in a pack? How many? <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. How many do you get? I got the Kimbap. This is gonna be my lunch because I don't know how long these last. Because last time I got one, it was dried out. I left it in the fridge and then I went to go eat it and it was dried out. So I'm just gonna thaw this out and eat it today. Cause I wanna try it. I wanna see everybody's raving about it. They were like, oh my God, it's so good. You gotta stock it up. So we'll see. We've got uh, frozen asparagus, Brussels sprouts with Parmesan, baby. I can't wait to dive in. And then shiitake string beans, these are busting. And then I got my nice fresh element again with blackberries. 
My mama bought these thinking this was a box of cookies. So now I have uh, pumpkin spice snickerdoodles. <laughs> Snickerdoodle mix so I can make them myself. And that's fine because I bought a mix as well. I love, you know, baking every now and then. These are Trader Joe's answer to pirate booty. They are the sour cream and onion corn puffs. My coconut flavored almonds. I did get almonds. I didn't play myself. Good. Ah, here's the. I'm telling you. This. <laughs> anyway, um, here's the pumpkin bread mix. I always get pumpkin loaf from Starbucks, so I want to try this and see if it's good. Is just as good because that's three dollars a loaf, a uh, three dollars a slice. Okay, so if I can make it at home, that's what I'm gonna do. Here's Nala's guacamole. This is what it looks like. For those of you who do not like spicy, this is the regular in the resealable container. And since everybody in their cat is eating cucumber salad, I said, hey, me too. I'll jump on the bandwagon. I love cucumbers. So we got two cucumbers. And I think I have all the fixings for the other stuff that he put in there. Hey, these, my heirloom tomatoes. My heirloom tomatoes. Did we squish my mother loving tomato? We did. Ignant. Squished my big baby there. Oat milk matchas in the morn. I have some oat milk. I decided to try this maple oat milk just to drink on its own. And then for the creamer for my matcha, cinnamon bun oat milk creamer. And that is it. Isn't that enough? <laughs> Lord have mercy. I feel like a pretty successful shopping trip for the day. We got some pumpkins, so you can add $21 to my total. Um, and those are, we're gonna like clean them off and put them outside for a little fall decoration. So that's it. Let me go ahead and put this stuff away, you guys, and I'll see you in a little bit. Let's try this kimbap together. Taking a break because I still got pantry items to put away, but I did the freezer stuff and the fridge stuff, so I'm gonna take me a little break. Just turn it open, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'm open. So this has Korean tofu. Get down. This has Korean tofu and vegetables and seaweed rice roll. I heard this is bussin' bussin'. First time I had it, it was dry. It had dried out because I had it in the fridge for like two days. Let's see what it's hitting on. That's what she looked like. Got a little soy sauce. Let's see what we doing without the soy sauce first. Now I should be able to pick this up. Let's see these sort of stuff together. like soy sauce with my sushi so let's mm-hmm mm -hmm. that is good <laughs> you know what I'm not even a tofu girl I do not care for tofu. This tastes really good. This tastes very, very good. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. About to clear this bad boy. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now. My question would be, how do I keep it from drying out so I can buy more of them? <laughs> I guess you just stick them in the freezer. That's the only thing I can think of because it is in the frozen food section. You can have this little piece of seaweed. Cause you got, mm, she's like, ma, that smells good. Let me get a bite. Uh oh, not my, not my tofu falling out. 
。OK， listen。咁你偷古仔曬嘅？啊，英雄招呼。嗯，嚇，即係唔係你就先 ？I just cleared a third of the sorrow. That is delicious, baby. This is so good. I'm so sorry about the living room lighting. It's always backlit. So it always looks like <laughs> this. This is yummy. Man. Mm. The backs of my legs are, are just tight. Because um, I had to carry, I mean, I didn't carry everything. Um, I got help, but. Carrying um, two bags at a time, up and down um, stairs. I want to say I was in the grocery store for a good hour and a half. Um, I don't know. My knee doesn't hurt. I did need to like severely rest my knee, like big time. <clears throat> Ma'am. Ma'am. You have an entire bowl of food. They always want what you have, and they don't give a damn. You could have filet mignon raw in their bowl. They will still sniff around at your pizza and be like, "Hey, girl, and you eat a puppy dog guys like they ain't, they haven't eaten in weeks." She has a whole like beef stew situation happening in her bowl, and she's just over here like, "Hey, sis, that tofu though." has a little sweetness to it and you hit it with saltiness from soy sauce mm -hmm. my tongue is dancing my tongue is like <laughs> this is really good man I've had gastric bypass so I have to have to have my little breaks in between what well, things I just well is that seaweed good I bet it was yo tell me why the damn baby bok choy was like 229 it was just one damn bok choy in there in the bag what y'all doing <laughs> who's buying one baby bok choy for 229 Joe. Joseph. I can't. You are full, Victoria. <laughs> you see me get ready to eat? <laughs> Joe. The fat in me, it just, it, it's still there. I just can't indulge it how I want to. I swear I would have cleared this shit already. Oh, it's delicious. You gotta try it if you haven't tried it. So we full. just finished. Some dumplings. No, I made some chicken soup dumplings for Nala. This is her first time trying them, so I added a little bit of chicken broth That's hot. to make it kind of like a soup. And, it's and I was explaining to her how to eat these. So, yep, you're gonna poke a hole in it so, the, so that the soup comes out. Oh, oh, okay, it's blessing. I had these before, y'all. She had like one. She had like one when I made them last time. But yeah, you're gonna um, put it in your spoon. Okay. I really want you to be careful. But she's still healing. Yeah, I didn't get the tasty doll because it was <laughs> You're gonna pick up the one that you broke, right? Mm -hmm. I gotta get in all of the practice chopsticks. But she's doing pretty good. Dang, I'm doing good. All right. Still hot. You can have just take a bite of the the dough by itself. <laughs> I 
You get some chicken in that one? In that bite? No, I have some chicken. I don't know what this chicken. <laughs> it's slippery. We found some like practice chopsticks on the web. Mm. Let me just pick it up like this. This is like pretty hard. It's so hard when you don't know how to play chopsticks and you're not practice. You're getting better with I, your technique. Every since I had noodles, I always just like. Because <laughs> they're like, they're sloopy. And I had noodles the other day, y'all. Yeah, she's getting back to normal eating. And you know, I'll tell you all She still has to be careful with like how hot it is and not eating like rough things. And, so. and when I'm not better, when I'm better, I'm going to just eat it right away. <laughs> 10 out of 10. All right. Soup dumplings for the win. I'm about to eat my little fruit plate, friends. Oh my God, that is very blown out. I'm eating a fruit plate. <laughs> it has figs and banana with honey on it. Let's see. <laughs> This is the vlog after surgery. So. I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup. Nothing crazy. Not crazy, but like nothing full on. Evening out my skin. Giving myself a little rouge. Fix the brows. Still want a mascara and a lip. That's what we're getting today, friends. I'm serious. Go make yourself some cereal. I'm not wearing this one. I think it's soft. You're not? Yeah. Hmm. Is that a safe way to treat yourself? There we go. Now we'll go have proper breakfast. You can either have cereal or you can get a croissant out the freezer and microwave it for one minute. Okay. You just heard me tell you where it is, right? In the freezer. Okay. And how long to warm it up? One minute. Very good. So take the candy out of your mouth. Thank you. <laughs> I just love this. I love this foundation. Cannot stop wearing it. It's so easy. I know it will work. Um, and it's natural looking, but still lasts all day. It's such a good foundation, man. We're going to do this one today. 
because again, I want it to look natural. This is the one thing I don't mind ODing on. <laughs> I'm probably gonna put a little bit of powder over it anyway. I wanna kinda cancel out and brighten my lid space just so that the mascara stands out more. So I'm gonna use the mood board in um, cool cozy vibes, and I'm just gonna sweep like a, a neutral color all over my lid. Maybe, maybe this girly. It's got a little like pink to it. <coughs> Just a tap of this in the transition. Fantastic. So benefit fan fest. These Merit lips, definitely not Vermilion, but um, this Antibes is pretty, and this one's a little not what I'm looking to do. This one from Prada, so I'm going to try this Merit one. I think this is what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Change my mind. Get this off. Because I do want a nude, but not that kind of nude. So here's um, 107A, which I really like. I like this color. It goes with my my blush. Let me go ahead and put on a liner. Yeah, my hand dash liner. It's got a nice warmth to it. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna put these away. We're all set here, time to do Nala's hair.